Welcome to Death Becomes Her, the mini-cast where we spend 5 to 10 minutes discussing death, dying, and grief from a variety of angles. I'm your host, Lyella Kelly. I'm a big fan of death awareness, meaning I encourage talking and thinking actively about death. Fundamentally, I believe that a cultural shift is needed to normalize conversations about death and dying. Here in the United States, we live in a culture where many of our doctors, the people who are constantly exposed to death and dying, have trouble with death conversations. That doesn't bode well for the rest of our society. I'm glad you're here talking and thinking about death because doing so is beneficial. After all, Death and dying are a normal, natural part of our lives. Let's jump in. Let's start normalizing the conversation. I'd like to start with a thought experiment. I'm going to give you a prompt and you fill in the blank. Here it is. In my ideal death, I am a person who... A person who what? What does your ideal death look like? So, ideal death. Let me give you some examples of my own. In my ideal death, I am a person who is active until my last day. In my ideal death, I am a person who didn't say no to adventure. And in my ideal death, I don't harbor regret about my relationships. You get the idea. I'm kind of asking you to consider life in reverse. Last year, I met a woman named Lily Fields. She's in France, and I'm in Montana, but through the wonders of social media, we met. She hosts a podcast called Sing With Your Feet. This is how she describes her podcast. Lily Fields takes you under her wing to help you dust off your dreams, uncover what used to make you sparkle, and make practical, compassionate, down-to-earth magic as you pursue your ideal life. Basically, her podcast is all about making choices that get us closer to living the life we want. She's encouraging people to choose to make small changes that will bring them closer to their ideal lives. Lily and I are really discussing very similar things, but from different perspectives, which is how I ended up being invited to be a part of her podcast. So when I suggest that you consider your ideal death, I'm asking you to work backwards. Consider where you want to be and who you want to be when you die and start setting yourself up now to reach that outcome. Look back to my examples. If I want to die an active and adventurous person, it stands to reason that I should be active and adventurous now. If I don't want regrets regarding relationships, I need to examine my current relationships and do whatever it takes to get them to a place that I'm content with. This is what I'm encouraging you to do. Think about what you want to accomplish by the time you die and start moving in that direction now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do it now. We never know what tomorrow has in store, so we can't afford to procrastinate. Now, in case you're feeling a little bit unnerved at this thought of considering the end of your life and how you want your death to look, know that you're not alone. Remember all those doctors? Some of them are probably in the same boat. And I'm going to make you a promise. Talking about death won't kill you. That is 100% true. But talking about death, that inevitable day that we'll all eventually find on our calendars, It could help you to engage with your life, to live fully and presently today. This is the beauty of conversations about death. Not only are they practical, they can actually make our lives better now. As I mentioned at the outset, one of my goals as a death doula is to get people talking about death, to normalize the conversation. I want to get you talking about death. This is your personal invitation to join the conversation. You can start here. In my ideal death, I am a person who... A person who what?
Thank you for listening to the Death Becomes Her minicast. Connect with me, Lyella Kelly, at www.leavingwellmt.com. Special thanks to Roman Bilov for our intro and outro music. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, talking about death won't kill you. I promise.